Hello guys, welcome to a politics guide for Total War Attila. So basically politics are still very complicated and user unfriendly in Attila. It's hard to understand the system and to do well in politics. I also mentioned this in my review and impressions video for Total War Attila. So I just decided to dive into the system to take a look um, and yeah, just I managed to find out basically how it works, most of it. So uh, in this video, I will just show you the political system, show you all the features. I will explain you how it works and how you can um, use politi uh, politics to your advantage, basically. So let's dive into the politics for the vandals right here. Of course, it's the family tab. Well, this will be very basic as it's kind of a complicated subject just for you guys to follow. So first steps first. This is your family tree and these are all your members from your family. On the left side, the other nobles and the candidates are all the characters from other families and other parties. So these guys are yours and those guys are theirs. Now for a general, um, a standard general will have his age on top of here. Then you will get influence, we will talk about that later. And loyalty, loyalty is very easy, it's basically when loyalty hits zero, uh, the character will rebel together with his army and you will have to defeat him on the battlefield so you always want to keep loyalty up. Loyalty is a combination between personal loyalty which can be changed and a different kind of facts like power and imperium in this case. Just keep an eye on it um, to keep it as high as possible. So basically all these guys have influence. Before I explain what it is I want to explain the main political bars. Of course this right here is the main political power bar and this bar is um, basically composed of both dominion and control. The average of dominion and control is your political power. Now what do you want to reach with your political power? Most people think that you want to get as much as possible but that's not true because if, if your power is balanced you will get plus 2 loyalty and minus 1% tax rate. If you go all to the max you get minus 7 public order plus 4 integrity which is good, minus 2 loyalty and plus uh, minus 8 growth and plus 4% tax rate so not that great. And if you like decrease all the way down public order plus 7 but your integrity is minus 4, your loyalty is minus 2, the growth is plus 8 and the tax rate minus 16%. For a normal player I always recommend to try to stay in the middle because both these like sides all have uh, negative like effects as well. So I recommend staying in the balanced area. So how will you do this? Of course as I said you need to control dominion and control in this case. Dominion is very easy, of course the yellow is your family and the red is the other family, that's also for the other bars of course. Dominion is very easy, it's basically the influence your family has against the influence the other members and parties have. And how does it calculate this? Just by, um, well, adding all influence to each other of course, just counting them all for both sides and just compare them with each other. For example, this guy, 51, wives also count, so 71. A plus 10 is 81, plus 5 is 86, and plus 20 is 106. And yes, current dominion 55% and 106 influence. So apparently these guys have a bit less. So very easy, the more influence you get, the higher this gets, or the lower the influence of your enemies, the higher this gets as well. Of course, if you lose influence, this gets lower. Same goes for the other candidates when their influence um, increases. That's, that is the easy side basically. Of course there are a lot of political actions you can do as well in this game and that that's basically what the well what's changing control that's basically it control is basically the way you handle politics if you're successful in your politics your control will be higher if you fail often in politics your control will be lower so every time a political action succeeds you will get a increase to your control Every time a political action fails, your control will decrease. Same for other families, if they launch a successful political action, this will decrease. If they fail, this will increase. So basically, the more successful you are with your actions, the more control you gain. So, very easy, political action, success, and dominion is the number of influence you have. And that decides the main bar over here. Now, of course, there are various actions you can do to adjust influence and to adjust other things. We will go over them right all. You can also use them for females, by the way. The only thing females deliver is more influence uh, and political traits. Uh, and a trait for the, the husband. 
so you can assassinate an enemy or a friend that's basically to just get rid of a guy if you want for example if this guy dies they will lose 50 influence so your dominion will rise all the way secure loyalty very easy you can do it on any general you want and that will just increase his loyalty uh, it's 10 10 right here but if it is low it will increase with like four points which is always handy it um, prevents you from uh, getting rebellions Arranged marriage is only for female family members, that's basically to marry a non-family character to also get them into your tree. Divorce, of course, if you want to divorce with your wife, this is useful if she has like a really bad trade for your husband. We have seek wife, that's of course if a general is alone you can seek a wife to give him a nice trade and to also give some more influence in the family. Diminished popularity instantly decreases the influence of a, of a character. Adopt will get an uh, other noble into your family so basically you can use political actions for him and you will use his influence of course then we have become retainer i didn't try this one out myself but basically it allows you to put a character under command of a un uh, other character and i think he will just gain influence or trade he will gain experience that's for sure and basil foons um, will get you money from the war chest so some free money and gather support will instantly uh, increase your control. The problem with these um, actions is that they, most of them cost influence. For example, Ambassador Foons cost 25 influence, um, gather support cost 25 influence. But it's basically for the good cause. You spend your influence to get more back in the long term or to get more control in the long term. This is there's no real guide for this. It's just playing around. What's good for your moment? Do you need to get rid of influence and need control? Or the other way around or do you just need to decrease influence at all then you can even consider assassinating one of your own characters now one last thing you can do is of course you can um well no let, let's talk a bit more about political actions because of course it won't always succeed if it succeeds you will get control plus of course the action you just did but if it fails you will need to spend more influence to get the um the action to work basically you need to spend more you will get that message in the following turn but if it if you can't afford more influence you basically fail you will lose your action you will lose the influence spent on the action and you will lose control so it's either a win or a loss for the actions take it or leave it now the last thing is offices this is basically secure promotion from Rome 2 this basically allows you to put a general let's see if anyone can a general as a companion of course there are requirements for example this one required age 18 required rank 1 influence cost 20 um, and basically they will sit into this office for a while which gives influence bonuses and some other bonuses and when your general gets better and better you can get higher up here this will basically just give some nice personal traits for the general in there so what you want to do is keep this balance and you do that by keeping your influence and your political success at bay you can do that with the actions of course and that's the way it works so hopefully this helped you a bit i know it's still complicated but hopefully it at least helps you a little bit hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time